Good morning everybody, it's Jasmine. So I haven't made a video in a while. I guess I've been pretty busy, but also just don't really know <laughs> what to talk about that's not corona related at the moment. But anyway, uh, today I have a new uh, job to do at work and that is to empty the apartments of uh, older people who have died of corona. Uh, so these people, they live in old folks' homes and they have their own apartment and basically with the whole corona situation, um, the families of these people, they've not been able to visit these their loved ones um, and basically because of that it seems really wrong to make them <laughs> have to empty the apartments when they've not been allowed to visit them uh, so basically that's why we are going in and doing that for them uh, because it's like you know the right thing to do um, so anyway so we're gonna I'm gonna have like uh, um, safety gear on and things like that and then it's just gonna be a whole lot of moving furniture and packing up uh, you know people's belongings and things like that so I think it'll be a pretty tough day but I'm gonna come back to you guys once it's done and talk a little bit about uh, what it was like. Um, yeah, but anyway hopefully it goes well and hopefully it's not too emotionally um, exhausting. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Okay guys, so it's the end of the work day and I've done the job that we went in to do. Uh, and tomorrow we will be doing the same. So it actually wasn't as scary or traumatic or mm, sad as I thought it was going to be. I really thought that going in there I would think about like how that person owned all the stuff and now they were gone. And I did think about that a little bit but it wasn't really in a really sad sort of way. It was kind of more like in a... I don't know, kind of like, yeah, life sucks kind of way. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I think if I was in a better mood, mood overall, then I'd feel m more sad about it. But I think today I woke up feeling really tired, and so it, I just didn't really uh, connect with it emotionally. But it's a good thing that it's not as um, emotionally draining as I thought it might have been. Uh, because that means it'll, you know, the rest of the week we were doing the same sort of thing. It's going to be easier. Um, and, I mean, the good thing is, is that I'm glad that we can help in that sort of way. Um, make it a little bit easier on the families. Uh, that feels good in that sort of way. And so I think that that also helps because instead of going and sort of feeling really sad that somebody's died. Instead, you go in thinking like, you know... I'm making it a little bit easier for the family that lost a person, you know, the family who, uh, you know, would actually be suffering from this, whereas, you know, I'm a person who didn't even know the person, like, so I should just be happy that I can help them out a little bit. So yeah, um, I'm pleased because I really was a little bit worried about how I'd feel about it, <sighs> but obviously I handled it well. And tomorrow I'll be doing the same thing. So yeah, uh, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you found it a little bit interesting. Because I certainly did. I never thought that we would be doing this sort of thing. But I guess it makes sense. I mean, if you've got all these restrictions, then uh, somebody's going to have to go in and do it. So that's what we did today. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys all next time. Take it easy. Follow the social distancing rules. And I'll see you guys all next time. Hey, door.